what's going on guys, my name is Brandon Dillon, welcome back to Dory 2K18, my career mode. If you missed the last episode, Brandon Daniels attacked Big Cass in the backstage area. And then Big Cass attacked Brandon Daniels before their match last week on Raw. Brandon Daniels is going to speak to Todd Mullen in the backstage area. Let's see what he has to say. Actually first, um... Let's see if we can update our attributes or increase them a little bit. We only have four attribute points? Bruh. Okay, we, we need more reversals, so... Okay. Okay, we'll go speak to Todd Mullen. At Wait. We're not even in a rivalry with Big Cass yet? Bruh. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh... Let's go talk to uh, Todd Mullen. Hold up, hold up. I can't let you go out there. What's going on? Mick says if you, it might be best if you don't have a match today after the recent unpleasantness. Bruh! Brandon Daniels can take a fight. You kidding me, Mick Foley? You know that run-in. I'm going to take this straight to Mr. McMahon and talk to him. The hell you will. You think you can just waltz right on into his office? On your whim? Like that? I'm Mr. McMahon, sir. All due respect, my panties are ruffled and bunched up. Will you help me? Hey, now I have a legitimate grievance. Dude, if you had the backing of the entire Dota universe, I would... I would never advise you... You do that. That man exists in the rarefied atmosphere. Just because you're full of hot air right now doesn't give you a right to visit. And you know, it wasn't just Mick. I heard from Vince about this too. He said you ended up looking worthless. Understatement of the season, he wasn't happy. As it is, he doesn't think you can be a dominant superstar. Great, so I'll go cool my heels and sit around doing nothing then. Don't know what to tell you. But you need to change things up a little. Todd Mullen. Kind of being a little bit of a dickhead. Oh, now we gotta find and ambush Big Cass. Big Cass. I'm gonna kick your ass. You ready? You ready? You in here? Oh, look, there you are, you, you little scrub. Brandon Daniels right away taking out Big Cass. Brandon Daniels. A low drop kick to Big Cass. Brandon Daniels immediately grabbing that briefcase. Brandon Daniels hitting Big Cass with the briefcase. Big Cass knocking the briefcase out of Brandon Daniels' hand. Brandon Daniels with an STO through the table, might I add. Brandon Daniels. Keeps hitting Big Cass with that briefcase. Brandon Daniels just attacking Big Cass continuously with a briefcase. Brandon Daniels having absolutely no chill against Big Cass here tonight. Big Cass with the STO to Brandon Daniels. Brandon Daniels. Big Cass throwing Brandon Daniels into the TV. Brandon Daniels pushing Big Cass away. Getting Big Cass with an STO. 
Brandon Daniels grabbing a steel chair. What's he going to do with that? Brandon Daniels to the back of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels just ambushing Big Cass. Big Cass. Big Cass holding Brandon Daniels up in the air and slamming him onto the ground. Brandon Daniels throwing the throwing Big Cass by the leg. Getting Big Cass up. Brandon Daniels going for the fireman's carry. The big kick right to the face of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels. Brandon Daniels with the back suplex. Face buster. Brandon Daniels is not done with Big Cass as of yet. Brandon Daniels grabbing the trash can. What's he going to do with that? Big Cass better be ready for this. What, what, what the hell is Brandon Daniels going to do? Brandon Daniels hitting Big Cass in the back with the trash can. Brandon Daniels just continuously hitting Big Cass with the trash can. Brandon Daniels, steel chair to Big Cass. Brandon Daniels just continuously hitting Big Cass. Brandon Daniels with a with a DDT right to Big Cass. Brandon Daniels showing off real quick. Getting Big Cass up. Brandon Daniels with a fireman's carry kick to the face. Brandon Daniels has one final attack in his arsenal, waiting for Big Cass to get up. Brandon Daniels with the back suplex, face buster right to Big Cass. Security once again trying to separate Brandon Daniels from Big Cass. Making an impact once again here on Monday Night Raw. Brandon Daniels now has to go Speak to Todd Mullen once again in the production area. Is Big Cass... Uh, nah, Big Cass isn't still on the ground. Of course he's not. Continuity. <laughs> Brandon Daniels talking to Todd Mullen. Good lord, that was heinous what you did. I'm not apologizing. I'm also not done yet. Did Big Cass leave the production area for his entrance? You aren't going to do what I think you're going to do, are you? Oh, uh... Brandon Daniels having something in mind. But up next, Brand Bruh! You literally said, I don't have a match tonight. And then I have a match with Big Cass. I know I'm attacking him, but like... Bruh! At least keep the continuity going. Make it like Big Cass versus like, I, I don't know, Enzo Amore. Let's get right into it. Big Cass. Brandon Daniels, though, coming out from behind. Brandon Daniels. With a clothesline! Brandon Daniels going for the back suplex. Face buster right to Big Cass. We saw Brandon Daniels attack Big Cass in the backstage area earlier, but Brandon Daniels is not done. Knee to the face of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels, a knee to the face of, Bra of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels, knee to the back. Multiple knees in the back, and then an inverted DDT taking out Big Cass. Brandon Daniels does not care at all. He, Brandon, Brandon Daniels, they need to arrest this man. Brandon Daniels is just attacking Big Cass out of nowhere for absolutely no reason at all. This is very uncalled for. Brandon Daniels returning to the backstage area. Todd Mullen clapping him on. 
Let's see what he has to say. Don't quote me, but I think you turned a corner. And a few heads. Brandon Daniels is included. I need and I need traction sort of way. I'm Brandon Daniels. You're not Big Cass. You're, you're Brandon Daniels. What are you doing? The poor guy. Yeah, I'd say you've made more than a simple splash. Renee thinks this is a big story. Go talk to her and ride this w wave as hard and as long as you can. Rivalries are already more interesting on 2K18 than on 2K17. Hopefully, hopefully, this doesn't become very, very repetitive and every storyline is exactly the same. Ryan Daniels going up to talk to Renee Young for an interview. Let's hear what he has to say. Please welcome my guest tonight. You've been really going after a certain superstar lately. First your ambush, then your interview with me. Why are you pursuing him so re so relentlessly? Today I'm the most dominant superstar despite my recent appearance in two Big Cass attacking Brandon Daniels during his interview with Renee Young. I, I think we're having another brawl, everyone. Big Cass with an inverted DDT to Brandon Daniels. Brandon Daniels re reversing it. Brandon Daniels throwing Big Cass into the set. Taking out the TV. Brandon Daniels with a knee to the face of Br Big Cass. Brandon Daniels just keep, keep throwing punches at Big Cass. Brandon Daniels is not scared of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels does not see Big Cass as a threat. Brandon Daniels with another knee to the face of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels. Big Cass with a back suplex to Brandon Daniels. Big Cass throwing Brandon Daniels across the arena. Brandon Daniels with a kick to the gut of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels running away from Big Cass, but then no. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Brandon Daniels getting out of this. Big Cass was trying to drag him, but Brandon Daniels got out of it. Brandon Daniels. Punch after punch after punch. Big Cass dragging Brandon Daniels somewhere. Where Where is he taking him? Brandon Daniels gets out of it. Brandon da Big Cass throwing Brandon Daniels into the catering area. Big Cass taking out Brandon Daniels with multiple punches to the face. Brandon Daniels with a clothesline to Big Cass. Can you pick up that trash can? Nope. Brandon Daniels with a near the face of Big Cass. Brandon Daniels picking up those racks right there. What's he going to do with those? Brandon Daniels hitting Big Cass with a few racks. Brandon Daniels with the trash can. Brandon Daniels with another knee to the face. Brandon Daniels with an, with an STO right to Big Cass. Brandon Daniels. Th this rivalry has gone very far. It started off as just Brandon Daniels trying to make a message, but it's become very personal between these two. Attacking each other week after week. Interrupting matches. Brandon Daniels. Running back up to Big Cass, hitting him in the back with a steel chair. Brandon Daniels just keeps attacking Big Cass. Brandon Daniels. Brandon Daniels getting ready for the back suplex. Face buster right to Big Cass. Brandon Daniels grabbing those racks once again. What's he going to do with those? Brandon Daniels 
keeps hitting Big Cass with the racks. Brandon Daniels throwing the racks down. Putting one arm up in the air. Brandon Daniels playing Big Cass in a fireman's carry. A big kick to the face by Brandon Daniels. Brandon Daniels getting Big Cass up. Big Cass reversing though. Big Cass throwing Brandon Daniels across, across the hall. Big Cass, Brandon Daniels with a German suplex right to Big Cass. Showing off his athleticism by showing how he could pick up a guy that is over seven feet tall. Brandon Daniels with an STO right to Big Cass. Brandon Daniels hitting another, hitting another fireman's carry. Kick to the face right to Big Cass. Another brawl that security is going to have to break up. Or, or not. <laughs> So exit the arena by talking to the parking attendant. People, that was one crazy night here on Monday Night Raw. I have a, hmm, Alexa Bliss. Let, 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 let's go talk to her once again. Sorry, I don't know her. Guys, my Amazon Echo just went off. You look real tired. Okay, she, same thing she said before. Still not, still not sliding into those DMs anytime soon, unfortunately. Are you ready to head out? I can go grab your car. Yep, grab my car. Raw February week 9. Speak with Todd Mullen in the production area. Hopefully we have a match or a promo or something this week because we didn't have anything last week, so we took matters into our own hands. Let, let's go talk to Stephanie McMahon real quick. Look, I'm busy running this company, and right now I'm furious. You don't want to talk to me right now. Okay, Stephanie, I'll leave you alone. No works. No worries. Brandon Daniels going up to Todd Mullen. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey man, time to get busy closing out the month. You ready for your promo? I'm thinking you do this right. You might have a shot to lock in a pay-per-view match. Point me the right way. Ready to get it done. The man knows. Let's do it. I got a quick story I want to tell you. You're going to like this. Oh my god. In my family, we get into tussles with one another, usually verbal, but at times, it can get a mite lively. We got something we call the smack dab. The smack dab? Really, 2K? First comes the smack, then comes the dab. It's like a one-two punch. Not exactly. It's more like following through. You wind up with the smack and strike with the dab, aiming right at the source. Smack dab in the center. It's only a move, it's a philosophy, oh my god. Move to the head of the class, it is. Always understand what the center is of anything you are striking. Your opponent, your ambitions, your promo. Give it the smack dab and you're golden. Jesus Christ. Why? Brandon Daniels has a few things to say, presumably about Big Cass. My fans need to learn something. Same as everyone, uh, same as everyone else. I won't be insulted. If I smell a whiff of what that, I will completely scorch anyone with the wrath of hell. I don't care who you are. There is a certain line in the sand, and I swear, if you cross it, I didn't finish reading it. Big Cass coming out here to interrupt. Brandon Daniels. Okay, well, I do like how Big Cass has like the mic that like I used uh, when he was with Enzo Amore. After everything you pulled, you don't deserve a damn thing. If I were the authority, I'd pull you entirely. There's no room for worms like you. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, there is something that you and you alone deserve more than everything. 
being sent back to NXT. As much as I need it, pay-per-view needs me too. I can raise the quality of what viewers are expecting. I need this challenge. There have been many memorable pay-per-views in the past, but I know there's a certain flair that they lack sometimes. That unique edge is what I can bring and really give the event that critical spark needed. Fans know quality when they see it. I don't mean strength or endurance, I mean quality. Real character. The more you act like this, the more they see how despicable you are. Maybe that's the kind of trash you aim to be. I don't know. What I do know is that the fans deserve better than you. This might be a great opportunity to merely be in the WWE, but there are no challenges here yet. I'm sitting here doing nothing of any value. I have to seek out an actual challenge. Pathetic, isn't it? They should be lined up to take me on. So I need to get the, to the pay-per-view and blah, blah, blah. Big cast attacking Brandon Daniels! Brandon Daniels not expecting that. Big cast getting Brandon Daniels up. Brandon, big cast. Brandon Daniels, a punch to the gut. Brandon Daniels, a dr low drop kick. What is Brandon Daniels thinking? Brandon Daniels. Going to the outside, getting a baseball bat from under the apron. Brandon Daniels hitting Big Cass with that, that baseball bat. Big Cass grabbing the baseball bat. Leaving the ring, Brandon Daniels very smart. Ba Brandon Daniels, why can't I enter the crowd? <laughs> Brandon Daniels taking the baseball bat out of the hand of Big Cass, hitting Big Cass with the baseball bat. Big Ca Brandon Daniels had the upper hand. Are you kidding me? Oh, Brandon Daniels throwing Big Cass into the, into the, into the uh, barricade. Sorry. Uh, Brandon Daniels got the upper hand right there here on Monday Night Raw. You've unlocked fan favorite level two. Hell yeah, Vince McMahon. Welcoming Brandon Daniels in the backstage area. Let's hear what he has to say. Nicely done. Mr. McMahon. Mr. Ruthless Aggression. <laughs> I have to say that, quite frankly, I like what I've been seeing from you lately. Thank you. Look, I'm going to do you a solid. You beat up Big Cass pretty badly these past few weeks. Great spectacles, by the way. He's banged up there, sure. But I'm still going to put you two in a pay-per-view match together. Once I'm through with him, he'll be limping away from the ring. Possibly, but don't forget the stretchers exist for a reason. And there's no reason to hold back, wouldn't you say? This is your chance to look dominant. Don't let me down. Encouraging words by the chairman of the board, Vince McMahon. The next show is going to be the pay-per-view. Fastlane, I think, because it's February... And we're on Raw, so, yeah, Fastlane, that's the next pay-per-view. So, I'm going to close the video out for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you guys are notified whenever I post new videos. I will see you guys next time with a new video. Goodbye.